What is up, everybody? This week on Your Favorite Christian, we're going to be finding out what is it like for Anastasia to be married to a priest. That is me. So we actually made this video quite some time ago. Uh, however, you know, the pregnancy stuff was more interesting. Everybody wanted to know more about a pregnancy. So we put this on pause. But today, today, we get to bring it to you, bring it back. You guys get to know how it, how it is to be married to a priest. Because it has come up a lot. You guys have a lot of comments about that, a yeah. lot about like, what do you mean he's a priest? What do you yeah. mean he could get married? Uh, how's it like being the first lady? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you dressed like that? Hmm. All that's coming your way. Hit the subscribe button because you can learn more about what's been going on with our marriage, with the pregnancy and all that stuff. And we love having you here. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you. One question that does come up a lot is like, how are you married to a priest? Yes. So for everyone to know, I am an Episcopal priest, which is part of the Anglican mm. communion in, in America. That's the Episcopal church. Uh, and so because and you of that- you can get married, right? Yes, we okay. can get married. Women can become priests. You didn't come here for our history lesson on the Episcopal church. We'll put some links on just the history of Episcopal church. Yes. But for you, baby doll, it's quite uh, a wild ride to be married to yes. a priest and probably something you didn't expect. I never dreamed about this, okay. Never heard of Episcopal church. I knew about Anglican church in Africa. But I didn't know anything about, I didn't know they were related at all. Then I met you and he was talking about Episcopal Church and I was like, what is this? And I think I started Googling what it was all about. When I finally proposed and we were engaged, you had people literally come up to you and say, do you have any idea of yeah. what you're getting yourself into? Yeah, I had no idea. Listen, I knew I was in love and this man is amazing and respectful and, and just so charming. So that's all I cared about. I didn't Keep know. Keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like being married to a priest? It is hard. <laughs> I think one of the main challenges is that um, when you sit down and ready to have a meal with this priest, I don't know about all the priests, I don't know if that's how it works, but with this priest here, guys, we pray over the meal all day long. And you guys know, all my African subscribers, African food, we want to eat it hot, okay? <laughs> so we wait in, and then we have our eyes closed, and then my husband will pray for everybody. All your subs uh, subscribers that left message about you need prayers, we have to pray for you guys for some reason during meals. Lord God, thank you so much for this food. We really also thank you, Lord, um, for all those who prepared this food. We thank you for the, the ground, food, <laughs> the ground that prepared this food. Um, we were able to have clean drinking Bless water. <laughs> one person asked, so what, what are Sundays like? So do you have to like come in with me? Or do you, or you have to be sitting in the front pew since you're now the priest's wife? You know, a lot of people, not even on the subscribers, like in person always ask me. I guess they used to like the priest's wife or the pastor's wife. Um, you know, with their big hats and sitting in the front row and so much involved in the church and they make decisions. I don't sit in the front row. I don't have a big hat to wear. I dress up just like like anybody else I go to church and I actually really like sitting sitting in the back not because of him but I've always sat in the back I'm just a back row person I don't need to be in the front row for everybody to know I'm the priest wife everybody know I'm the priest wife you kind of stick out at our church well <laughs> <laughs> have you ever felt pressure as being part of the church to be that person who should be sitting up in the front row, should be taking all these leadership positions. In the beginning, I felt pressure, not from the congregation, but from outsiders mm -hmm. that had experienced their priest wife being so much involved. Um, but our, co our congregation, they, there's no pressure there. What is the biggest surprise so far of being married to a priest? When we first got married, we ate together, we did so many things together, and then one time, there was a phone call, I think it was like 10 p.m. or 9 p.m. of someone, you know, family member passing away. And so they needed Christian to come in and do um, the last rite, which is like the, the, the prayers before the person dies. We we're having dinner and he's like, I gotta go, I gotta go. And he's like, because someone is dying, I really have to go. So I didn't know, you know, being a priest is like 24 seven, I, I really didn't know. Again, I didn't know much about the priesthood. So um, he went and he was gone for a while. And then the next time that you got a phone call again, it was really pretty late. I think that was like 1 a.m. Um, to go to the hospice because one of his parishioners needed him to come and do the last rite. So I was like, you know what, I want to go with you. And I think this is like the most important thing, marrying to someone that you're not familiar with their job. Um, so I decided to go with him just to learn more about it. And yes, I work in the ICU, I've experienced death. It's different when your spouse 
is doing this 24 7. went with him i sat there with the family with him and he did the last right that was the most challenging thing for me knowing that he could be calling any time of the day guys that was so hard because we were like nearly married and then mm. i had to stay home by myself and just wait for him to come back but i understood it you know in a new town a new place new town new Florida, place for, yeah. i didn't know anybody i didn't have any friends so it was pretty it was it was pretty hard and challenging i understood it as time went by but it's challenging it takes time to get used to it but now if we're sleeping and he you know he turns around and say i really have to go someone needs my help i don't have to struggle with it like i did in the beginning because I, i've been going with you to see how it is what is it like walking around with me when i have my collar on i grew up in africa as most of you know our catholic priests i don't remember seeing them wearing the color like they always have the the dress on what do you guys call it <laughs> cassock Okay, okay. Only job that they will call you father and you wear a dress. Obviously in America, you know, the Catholic priests, they wear this and then the Anglican or Episcopal priests wear this. It started getting a little uncomfortable <laughs> because some people actually call him and say, oh, hi, father. Um, can can you can I talk to you for a second? Again, this comes back to me not understanding in the beginning. So he will have to leave the dinner and then I'll sit on the table by myself. Guys, you think this is easy? It is not, okay? When you guys go for dinner with your spouses, you get your nice view and you sit there and you talk and you mingle and all that. When he has this on, sometimes I have to sit there by myself while he goes and talk to the person, whether the person need prayers or whatever they need, he does it there for them. So what I decided to do was, and I know you guys are going to attack me, but if you are in my shoes, you will understand where I'm coming from. But I will ask him, babe, is it okay for you to take your collar off while we have this dinner? And I don't think there was anything wrong with it, and I was not trying to be insensitive. No. It's just that sometimes I, we haven't had a time together for like a while, and so it's I just felt like we need a little time together. The most important thing is this, is our marriage. Without this, the ministry cannot be strong. If our marriage, how am I supposed to give marriage advice if I'm not being a good husband? How are we are gonna give marriage advice if we're not taking care of our marriage? Totally. All right, babe, so that's pretty cool. You got to, was that, was that weird? Was that uncomfortable? Um, a little bit. <laughs> Why was it uncomfortable? Because I, and then in the beginning it was, because then, you know, you have to be really honest. We want to be honest with you guys. We always want to be authentic on this channel with y'all. There's other stuff on here about what it's like to be a priest, dating life of a priest, praying like a priest, but uh, we're just happy that you're here. And if you made it this far, I mean, you that might as well. That means you love us. That means you're into it. You're into I something mean... or you hate us so much you're still sticking around. <laughs> so <No. laughs> why don't you allow that hate turn to love hit the subscribe button, hit yes. that little bell, the little yes. notification bell. You drop videos every single Monday. God bless you. God be with you. We'll see you next Monday. Peace.